Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to install NetCloud on uh, TrueNAS Core uh, version uh, 1240 and also I will show you how to enforce uh, HTTPS traffic using a uh, self-site certificate So from uh, TrueNAS Core dashboard you will navigate to uh, plugins and select NetCloud and select uh, install there are three uh, network setting options that you can use. Uh, the first one is DHCP, uh, which is automatic. Uh, DHCP server is going to assign IP address uh, for your um, plugin. Or the second one, NAT, which is also automatic. And uh, the last option is going to be uh, static IP, which is you manually set up the IP address and the NAT mask for your uh, NetCloud. So the jail name, uh, I'm going to name it uh, NetCloud and ipv4 i want you uh vnet zero and ip address gonna be um 10 and my uh net mass is gonna be uh, flash 23 all right that's it accept it so the first time you uh, install a plugin or um, creating a jail, it's going to take a little bit longer than uh, usual, which is normal. Uh, DXCP, sometimes it's going to assign a different IP address than what initially assigned to your next cloud. However, you can uh, set the DB, uh, DXCP reservations on the DXCP servers. That way that uh, every time it would give out assigned the same IP address every time. Uh, or the last option which is uh, using the static IP and you manually input the IP address uh, that uh, guarantee that um, every single time your NetCloud will have the same IP address so in the last uh, couple tutorial I actually using nano text editor uh, to edit the config file however if you know how to use VI text editor, that's fine. VI text editor is built in, uh, into TrueNAS and you do not need to uh, install uh, any uh, uh, alternate uh, text editors. Also, uh, FreePSD actually uh, included um, the EE1 text editors or um, uh, easy, easy editors. It's simple, easier to use. Um, for VI, if you're not familiar with VI, uh, using the wrong command can uh, cause you to accidentally uh, overwrite a file or delete thing that you do not intend it to and that can create a bigger issue so for whatever reason uh, NetCloud installation script decided to use the NAS address of uh, 10 for uh, 1343 so when I uh, open the management console it's definitely gonna say um, all right let's go ahead and I'll show you this all right so we're gonna expand it and a lot of you guys saying that hey I don't see the post install notes it's always right here unless again this tutorial is for true NAS and free NAS only if you are using it on a different platform it might not be there there you go and uh, we'll click on a manage and obviously it's a uh, access to uh, untrusted domain because the uh, installation strip I don't know how they pull it but they pull NAS IP address instead of the uh, the static IP address that I give it so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna edit the um, config file to add the trusted domain so before you can do that you need to enable your edit service so you would go to the services and uh, Turn on uh, Edit Edge right there. Let me make sure that it's allow a uh, root username. Uh, it's a good uh, security pra practice that you're not using a root username to establish uh, the ed Edit Edge connections. After you connect it, uh, you have um, established the SSH connection. You can use a SU command to use uh, uh, the root user. However, uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a root. All right. And let's open up uh, terminal. And we're going to use edit h. And it's going to be uh, the username, which is root. And then uh, add 
trueness dot uh, admin one or two dot tag or you can use the IP address of your trueness uh, core. Alright. If it's the first time that you um, using edit edge, it can ask you to um, say yes or no for the uh, certificate. I believe. Just say yes. All right. Let add the. Um, trusted domain so we can using the easy um, editor or EE mm, look like we got the wrong one. Oh yeah I forgot I have locked into um, the um, I okay console yet, so I okay console netcloud. So this is how you access your um, jail. All right, so we're gonna run the same command again. There we go. It pull up the uh, config file, and as you see right here, it say number one. It um, ten four uh, one three four three. 10.1.3.4.3.4.250 and I change it to 2.52 and I also gonna add it one more in there number two that gonna be uh, my uh, fully qualified domain name which is netcloud.sysadmin102.tech all right and you can click uh, Escape and select option A and A again it's gonna save the changes and if you make a mistake you can select option B to um, reverse this back to uh, original file all right and with that we need to restart uh, NetCloud for it to take effect we go back to plugins and we can expand it I'm gonna restart it Okay, we should be able to access uh, the console now. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I did something wrong with the... Oh yeah, I'm missing the comma on the config file. All right, let's go back and correct that one. So I'm gonna go back uh, to the edit section again. Yeah, be careful uh, updating this thing. If you're missing uh, a comma or anything, it can uh, causing some issue for us. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. We're gonna go ahead and restart NetCloud again. Okay, we should be able to access it now. Oops, wrong one. Manage. There we go. And uh, username, password should be in the post info note. And make sure that uh, after you log in, make sure that you uh, at least change the password or a new username. Do not use the um, default username and password. It's not a good uh, security practice. All right. And uh, that's how you install NetCloud on uh, TrueNAS. Next step, um, if you don't want to enforce HTTPS, that's fine. That's how you do it. You're done. Um, but if you do, um, follow me to the, with the next step. We're going to enforce HTTPS. All right, we're going to go back to uh, terminal or command prompt on window. I'm going to go back in the jail again. IOK console, netcloud. And then next, we can uh, create a new um, directory 
to store our OpenSSL certificate. All right. Next step, we're gonna change the directory to um, the folder that we just created. Okay. And next, we're gonna generate the um, SS, uh, open SSL certificate and the key. Keep in mind, this is a self-size certificate. All right, country name, US. State gonna be CA for California, CD San Jose. Mm, gonna be a CIS. So this is just a self-size certificate, so you can really put anything in here. So now we have the uh, certificate and the key generated. Uh, next step, we're gonna chain the permissions. And we're gonna do the list command just to make sure that the permission is updated. All right, good to go. Uh, all the command gonna be included in the description. All right, next step, we're going to edit the um, nginx config file. And under the basic settings, we're going to paste the server information in here. Copy and paste it. All right, that's it. We'll click on the uh, escape or ESC, we edit here. And first option, save changes. The next one, we're gonna edit the NetCloud um, config file. Okay. So we're gonna relay the server listening to uh, port 80 and server name. With whatever that I provided in the um, text file. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. All right, and escape, Lee editor, and we're gonna save changes. All right, that should be it. Let's see if uh, we can access this now or do we actually have to restart it? Okay, we might have to restart it for it to take effect. Okay, go ahead and restart the cloud. All right, we'll go ahead and manage. So this is uh, perfectly normal. It, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, uh, this is a self-size certificate. It's not um, been signed by a certificate authority like let encrypt. I'm gonna say right here. So we're gonna go with the advanced options and we're gonna view, um, actually, um, accept the risk and continue. And there we go. As you see right here, it's uh, HTTPS now. So that's how you install your NetCloud and enforce uh, HTTPS with the self site certificate on uh, TrueNet Core. Uh, thank you for watching. Like always, if you have any questions, leave um, the comment below and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.